people who think that they know a lot usually is the people who don't know a lot <laughs> So, you know, welcome everybody to be here, right? Uh, when I was uh, when I was a recruiter, you know what I do? I actually go to Facebook and Google your name and see what kind of post you have. Uh, I did not hire one of the person because uh, the person smokes, right? And he put like all the smokes up in his you know helmet and he drink a lot, right? But those are all you know posts that the person volunteer on. You know, I have a sales call, right? What I would do is I'll go into their Facebook and look at, you know, do they have any kids? You know, what do they like to eat, right? Where do they like to go, right? And then I will see what are the common things that we have together. Maybe it's kids. Hey, you have two kids. I have two kids too. So then you can build that immediate bond. The whole key about being, you know, doing whatever you wanted to do, right? Whether it's sales, interview, whatever, is you want to make other people to be your friend. That's why I tell you that, sir, ma'am, you build that wall between you and them. You cannot work in because when you are using the word sir or ma'am, that means that you guys are a client virtual assistant relationship. But if you can call them with their first name, chances is you can, they can treat you like a friend. So whenever, whatever you're doing, whether it's interview, right? In, you know, I used to do interviews and I need to make sure that the, 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 the people show up to the interview. Literally, my goal is to book 20 people and make sure that 15 of them show up, right? So again, I have to sell myself to connect with them so good that they will show up to the interview, even if it is, you know, raining, snowing, if it is a hard day, right? You just have to, again, think about how can I work smart instead of working hard. So, um, and on top of that, right? Another thing that I want to add on top of this too, and please everybody listen to me, okay? Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, okay? This is from John Maxwell. And I love, 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 love this. Why? Because you are going to do some sales calls, right? Most of you guys, again, you know, don't take sales call as sales call, but you know, just a call, right? Uh, but obviously I used to do sales, so I do this very, very well. I. I know I can, you know, because after you do so many sales, right, you know whether this person is going to be able to close or not close. If you know that this person doesn't close anymore, then you turn it into a learning mode. How do, how do you think I do? Do you think I speak really well with you? Um, do you, you know, how did you find us? Do you know any other competitor that is doing similar things uh, like we are? Because you know you cannot convert them anymore. You're, this is going to be the last call that you have with them anyway. So who cares? Who cares whether you suck or not? <laughs> the truth is because you never see them ever. That's why I love going door to door sales because I would never see them anymore because we, after I sucked, right? So, so I asked them a lot of questions. You know, when I used to, I used to door to door sell, right? I knock on the door, right? Hey, my name is whatever. You know, I run. You know, I do my icebreaker. You know, and I, I talk to them, and then immediately I could know whether they're gonna buy or not buy, right? When they don't buy. I immediately will ask them, hey, so what kind of, you know, I used to sell Bibles, by the way, uh, Bibles, okay, something that is free, but I, I sell it for $160, okay? Um, so um, I will ask them, okay, so what Bibles do you use? You know, what church is out there, right? And um, also, what is your neighbor? Can you, can you give me the names of all your neighbors, especially people who I really love to talk, right? Uh, what is your neighbor's name? You know, what time would they come home, right? And after I done, right, I pick, you know, I go knock on another door, I would say, hey, so and so told me that you are really amazing. You have two children, right? I know that you know you have this amazing car. You love fishing, right? So then I can immediately build that relationship with them. You get what I'm saying? So anytime you and and again today topic is amazing, right? It's all about what you're listening to. A best salesman, a best virtual assistant, it's all about listening skill. Did you listen to what we say? Also, do you listen to what we do not say, right? Because again. If you are winning, right, you're closing the deal, great, right? Go through your process. But if you do not, right, you know, what can you learn from this, right? When I was in sales, I always write down everything. Okay, I did well in, I think I like this icebreaker. And so then I was like, okay, you know, uh, you're okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one, right? Okay, I did not close it. I think because I did not uh, impose them enough. Right, um, it's because you know um, I didn't do whatever. Right, same thing with social media. Right, when you're posting it, man, you know this one have five follow, five likes. This one have one like. What is the difference between these two? Maybe it's a hashtag. Maybe it's the way you say some things. Maybe it's because you didn't go the right word. Right, you wanted to identify those stuff because then after you learn from your failure, quote unquote, right, you're gonna win. Am I right? So again, beside your model after success, you wanted to figure out sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes sometimes you sometimes you win, sometimes you you learn. Right? What can you learn from this experience?
okay you know what can you learn from this experience ask them as many questions hey boss i know that you don't like this video what why don't you like it can you tell me more about it because the more you know the higher chances that you can be able to close them the chance the higher chances that your client is going to be happy with you i know that you know again listening is not a born skills okay listening is not a born skills people who think that they know a lot usually is the people who don't know a lot